Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you the top 10 prefab homes of the year. This is one of my favorite videos to make of the entire year because it's a look back at everything that happened in the industry over the last 12 months which was a lot. This year I made over 100 videos about prefab homes and I still feel like we're just getting warmed up in the industry. Before I go Rick D's on the list, a quick thank you to everyone who took the time to comment on videos this year. I'm more into Ellen's new show than I ever was the old one. You rocking Terminator shades, bro. Not a compliment, bud. Sincere, heartfelt, to the point. I like that. As always, the criteria for making the top 10 list is extremely stringent. In order to qualify, a home must be a home that I like. It's a very scientific approach. To kick things off, we're going to the West Coast to check out a home from Orca LGS. Orca is a dynamic global construction company disrupting traditional thinking and challenging inefficiencies in the industry. They use an innovative integrated digital platform to design, manufacture, and assemble light gauge steel pod structures. There are a couple things I really like about what they're doing over at Orca. First, I like the look of the homes they're putting out. They've got a West Coast vibe with a combination of metal siding and wood accent that looks great. Second, I really like the idea of their pop-up factory. They have the flexibility to pop up a factory and manufacture their homes right out of development, which they say outperforms both traditional methods and centralized factories across all key performance categories from cost controls to completion timelines. In their pop-up factory, they can build homes from their pod line to ship to other destinations as well as building homes for the development. It's almost like a hybrid approach that gives them the best of both worlds. Even though they're located in Courtney, BC, Canada, Orca recently announced their pod line will be available in Washington, Oregon, California, and Nevada, which is an exciting bit of news for anyone in that area. Next on the list is Formflow Living. I started following Formflow Living over the summer when wildfires were going nuts in my area because of their C90 Ben, a world first invention that was unanimously voted the winner of over 40 great innovations in season four of Australia by design. By forming a 90 degree angle in corrugated sheets, their technology forms a continuous corner that allows seamless joints between walls and roofing. The gap-free joint makes the home more resistant to ember attacks and bushfires, which may or may not be a concern depending on where you're living. Out of their models, my personal favorite is their Gable One, which comes in multiple different layouts. Similar to Orca, they have a steel exterior with a wood accent on the front, and if you haven't noticed, I like that look. This design is said to be perfect for entertaining or anchoring inwards from the hustle and bustle of the world. The Gable One comes in both one and two bedroom plans and is currently available in Australia. The first American prefab home builder on the list is a company that has moved from concept phase to actually delivering homes to customers by the name of Zenny Home. I've been following Zenny Home for a couple years now and it is always exciting to see ideas come to life and customers receiving homes. Zenny Home was founded in 2019 as a viable solution to the housing industry shortage by designing and factory building its models to be easily transported, to have minimum environmental footprint, to stack in multifamily configurations, and to include leading edge technologies that transform the customer experience of buying, investing, owning, and living. Right now, they have two models available, both being built out of their factory near Page, Arizona. The smaller of the two is their 320 square foot Denizen, and then they've got the 640 square foot Citizen. What I like about Zenny Home is they're fitting a lot into a small space. Both of their models utilize multi-purpose spaces that can be changed depending on the time of day and the use required in the home. Zenny Home has a substantial wait list for their homes and are already planning a second facility. The Denison currently starts at $90,000 and the Citizen starts at $125,000. Next up is one of the most affordable options currently available from a company entering the US market by the name of a Loom House. A Loom House has a line of cottage style prefab homes built at their manufacturing facility near Riga, Latvia. They build high quality modern wood frame houses that they say can be built in two months. I stopped by to see what they were up to earlier this year and looking back out of everything I saw the layout that stood out to me was their Nordic Plus. The Nordic Plus has a footprint of 395 square feet in which they've got one bedroom, one bathroom and a loft. The base price is currently set at 57,000 euros for their comfort configuration 
and they've got models on either end of that price point depending on what people are looking for. What I like most about the Nordic Plus was the high ceilings and amount of windows included with the build. It felt bigger than 395 square feet. I know they're currently in the process of getting homes to the US and I'll be watching for the first ones to arrive to see how it all played out. Bringing it back to the United States in an area that gets a lot of requests, Tomu House is filling the void and ramping up production in a new facility. They've got a studio villa that has recently been revamped to 506 square feet that looks amazing. After doing this here on YouTube for a few years now, some of the homes do tend to look similar, but that is definitely not the case with the Tomu Villas. Their founder Chris has a background in hospitality and their models are geared to that industry. However, that doesn't mean they can't be purchased by anyone who likes what they've got going on. For me, the big standout head turning feature is their exteriors. They've got a natural cypress exterior cladding and black trim that looks fantastic. They do have one and two bedroom options, but the one I saw was the studio villa. The studio villa has good flow that wraps around from the back entrance through the kitchen into the living space which has multiple different areas before finally arriving in the bathroom. Let's not forget about the big sliding glass door and windows on the front that look great from the inside looking out and outside looking at the outside. The Tomu Villa is currently listed at 145,000 and they're taking orders for 2024. In the fifth spot is another company taking the West Coast by storm known as Oxbox. I had a sit down with one of their founders back in September at a home show and these guys have some exciting stuff going on. Expect to see more Oxbox on the channel late spring, possibly early summer. They describe themselves as a team of carpenters, contractors, organizers, and designers collaborating to build something beautiful with form and function. What I like about their builds is something they describe as sophisticated minimalism design that doesn't take away from day-to-day -day life. So no clutter. One of the models I'm excited about from Oxbox is their new 620 that will be open for pre-sale soon. The 620 is the largest of the Oxbox line and is optimized for two people to live comfortably long term. Right now they're showing a base price on the 620 at 310,000 Canadian dollars. I am excited to see one of these things in 2024. A lot of new prefab home companies are located on the west coast. Some are located on the east coast and there seems to be less bringing up the middle. But there are some. In the number four spot is a Colorado based company called Smart Pads with a focus on distinctive prefab homes built for the mountains. What's interesting about Smart Pads is, in a way, they're a custom builder. On their website, it says every design they currently offer began as a custom home for a client. So everything they offer is technically a custom home. Right now, their models range in size from 432 square feet to over 2,500 square feet and they've got the mountain vibe dialed to 10, which is awesome. Out of their models, one that stands out to me is their Leadville 840. As the name suggests, it's 840 square feet with two bedrooms and two bathrooms. What I like about the exterior is the aforementioned mountain vibe with a metal roof and wood siding. They've almost combined a modern and mountain look throughout their line and it's working well. It has a covered porch on the end of the home that's accessed through the living room. Beyond that, the floor plan goes dining room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, ensuite. It's noted that this is one of their most popular designs and I'm not really surprised. In mountain towns, there is usually some kind of big important view and having the living room at the front allows people to take advantage of those views both inside and out. I can't rightly put out a top 10 list without including one of my modern favorites, a company in Spain called Q. It has been very fun to watch this company evolve over the last few years to now see them entering new countries and expanding their product line. They're building out of their factory in Elche, Spain and shipping homes around the world. What makes Q stand out to me is the look of their homes both inside and out. These do not look like anything else available. The combination of a aluminum siding and glass makes these things pop. Q is another builder taking advantage of space by using space for multiple purposes. Out of everything they're offering right now, my favorite is the Q family because it's a compact space that sleeps four. It has a living room at the back that converts to a bedroom and a set of bunks in the hall. I get a lot of people asking for something in a small footprint that sleeps four and it is not just a clever name folks. That's what it's designed for. The Q family has a base price of $140,000. The number two spot on this year's list is Stack Homes. Stack Homes must be getting or anticipating a lot of orders because they just moved into a new 80,000 square foot facility with tech enabled production lines over the summer 
that they say will allow them to scale to 620 homes per year. They're a Utah-based company that builds sustainable luxury dwellings for the conscious and imaginative home buyer. One of the things I like about Stack is their ability to rapidly build homes in a matter of weeks with consistent quality and cost control. One of the most frequent complaints I get on this channel is people aren't able to get the homes that I'm talking about, so speed and quality has landed Stack in the number two spot. The Ridgeline One has dimensions of 40 by 15 for a total foot print of 600 square feet. In that space, they've got one bedroom, one bathroom, and a 15-foot sliding glass door to take advantage of any potential views. The Ridgeline One currently has a base price of $245,000. Landing in the top spot this year is a home that has been on the list before, but moved up after I went to see it in person. The Scally Backcountry Cuboid from Loyal Prefabs. Loyal Prefabs is based in Brooklyn, Nova Scotia, where they design and build prefab homes that are modern, beautiful, and harmonious with the landscape. With an exterior of weathering steel, this thing is the definition of a head turner. The unit I saw was in a fairly secluded area and people were literally stopping their vehicles in the middle of the road just to look at it. Inside the home had it going on with high ceilings, wood walls, floor to ceiling windows, a wood burning fireplace, and three sleeping areas. With the lofts it has 424 square feet of space and is described as durable, bold, simply strong. I can vouch for the boldness. This thing is as bold as it gets. Loyal also has other models available with different exteriors, all of which I think look really cool. The Scally Backcountry Cuboid starts at 290,000 Canadian dollars and they'll ship all over North America. Strap in folks, it's gonna be a big year with lots going on. That's a wrap, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.